two, three, four. Yeah, test. Testing. Hello, my beautiful blossom. Shandy here. How are you on this fine and fabulous day? Super well, I hope. I have a fun and quick tutorial for you today shown in this gorgeous crochet cowl, how to work a foundation double crochet. A foundation double crochet is pure genius. Let me tell you why. Instead of working your typical foundation chain and then your double crochets on top of that, you're doing it all at the same time. Mind blown. The benefits of this method are, one, it can save a bit of time as you're doing two steps in one fell swoop. And two, it can produce a bit of a stretchier start to your project than the typical tight chain you may have experienced in the past. We use this technique in this crochet cowl to create a stretchy edge at the beginning, which mimics the stretch of the final round. Since you want this cowl to stretch when you're wearing it, it was a perfect technique for this pattern. You can download the pattern for this beginner level crochet cowl at the link in the description box below. To create the cool gradient effect we have in this cowl pattern, we actually held two strands of yarn together. It's called marling. If you would like to learn that technique, just check out our Little Lola cowl tutorial. We opted for three skeins of our Twisted Tweed sport weight yarn. It's cozy and comfortable and it has these fun little flecks throughout. All right, go ahead and grab some yarn and a hook and let's get started practicing this technique. You're gonna start by chaining three. You're gonna start by doing a yarn over. Then you're gonna insert your hook into this first chain, but instead of just inserting it into the side of the chain, we're gonna insert it into the side leg and under that bump on the back. So we're working it under both things. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull it through. All right, you wanna make sure that you give that stitch there a little pull so it's not too tight because this is going to be forming your foundation chain. So go ahead and do another yarn over and pull it through just that first loop. Now what you've just created is your first foundation chain. Then the rest of the stitches you're going to use to create your double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And what we've done is create a foundation chain and a double crochet. Okay, let's go ahead and work another one. To work another one, what you're gonna do is turn your work here to the side and find the two legs of that previous foundation chain that you just worked. Then we're gonna repeat that process. So yarn over and insert your hook under both of those legs. Boop, boop. Then yarn over and pull through those two legs. Bloop. Remember to give it a little bit of a tug so it's loose. Now we're going to work another foundation chain. To do that, we yarn over and pull through just that first stitch. So we've just created another foundation chain right here. Then proceed to work your normal double crochet by yarn overing, pulling through two, yarn over, pull through two, and voila. We have another foundation chain here and another double crochet here. So that is the stitch that you're gonna repeat across until you have as many foundation double crochets as you need for your project. Now, side note, I was holding two strands of yarn together since that is the marling technique we used in this crochet cowl pattern, but obviously it is not a requirement to do a foundation double crochet. And there you have it. You can now walk around the rest of this day feeling very confident indeed. No matter what assails you today, you can just smile and laugh it off because you know how to work a foundation double crochet. It's very impressive. 
All right, my lovely. As always, if you're new, don't leave without smooshing that subscribe button and hopping your buns on over to expressionfiberarts.com and signing up for email updates. You're gonna get free knit and crochet patterns and a whole lot more. All right, you go out and have a beautiful day and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye-bye. Super, are we going on or? Oh, I didn't have the next part ready. Two, three, four. Testing. You can download the link for this beginner level. Wait, what? You can down, uh, undo that. Hello, my beautiful, okay, I messed up. <laughs> Erase. Erase. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.